Oh, hello? Am I audible now? Wow, okay. That's weird. Um... Uh, hello, by the way. <laughs> See, there's like a setting in OBS that lets you monitor, monitor like the audio that's basically coming in. And I sort of assumed that I, I'm i still audible when I turn on that setting, but like clearly not. So sorry about that. Um... Yeah, I was like talk I was talking about how this whole stream was like a mistake and this whole setup is so fucking convoluted. Um I would like to um just sort of explain a lot of shit about Mr. And show it off, I guess. Hmm. But I'm probably not gonna be streaming for that long. Um. And like, um. For some reason. <clears throat> OBS won't let me record my desktop, which is going to make this a lot more difficult. But we'll get through this. This is probably my last stream before I replace my laptop. Hmm. Oh, what's up, Yon? Yeah, Aladdin, obviously a legend. Holds up. It's like, see? Funny thing is like, Aladdin is like my go-to game to like test emulators and stuff. Because, um... Um, number one, I like it. Number two, it's very easy to pick up play. Like, you don't need to watch, like, a cutscene or something at the start. <laughs> I need to- see, I didn't realize the Dumpachi was on this thing already. So I have to try that. Um, and then the other reason is that it's one of the earlier games in the alphabet. So it's always, like, at the top of every ROM list. Um, so the first thing I would like to do mm, before we actually start playing ship, mm, I want to go through some setup stuff. <clears> hmm. <throat> I think if I reboot. It's still gonna work, hopefully. I might kill the whole stream, but like, I think it's gonna be fine. Oh wait, let me um. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. And... Oh. Oh, it's not coming back. Oh, that sucks. Wait. Fuck. I just want to show you guys my cool wallpaper. Fuck. See? Wait. Let me explain. So, Bjorn, on Twitter, I was saying, oh. Um. It works fine with the capture card. Oh, it's back. Okay, nice. Woo! 
Woo! Okay. Um, it works fine with the capture card on, like, the most demanding settings. Well, once I, like, when I set that, that was applying to just recording to the SD card. That was perfectly fine. And I just assumed, like, the naive person that I am, that that would just apply to recording in OBS. But for some reason, I had way more problems once I moved to OBS. Mm. I'm going to explain, like, what exactly is going on. Um... So for those who don't know, Mister is an open source platform. Mm. Built around FPGA hardware. Mm. The most basic way to put that, to explain what that means, is that it's basically a tiny computer that turns into like a Super Nintendo or a Mega Drive, or a Neo Geo, whatever you need it to be. What's up, Ryan? Um, now, if you're used to playing on emulators, you might think, oh, I can do that on my fucking phone. Why is that special? The thing is, like, it's literally turning into that console. In, under ideal circumstances, it's gonna run exactly the same. Um, software emulators obviously are very impressive. But they have to take a lot of shortcuts to be playable. Um, the most obvious one, right, right is, is a lag. Input lag, or even sound lag, that like, um, like with NES and Super Nintendo games especially, um, every sound effect is going to be slightly delayed. And once you notice that, it's very distracting. Um, and just generally replicating the intricacies of the sound is very hard in software. Mm. <clears throat> and FPGA makes all that shit possible. And Mr. is like that, and it's open source, and it's like a lot of different systems. Um... Now, I'm going to open my fucking browser. Mm. Okay, wait. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's fucking go. Let's watch some porn. Uh... Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this company called Analog. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, there they are. Um, so they make like individual systems that use the same technology. And they have one that's like an NES, and they have one that's a Super Nintendo, and they have one that's a Mega Drive. And now they're going to do one that's just a handheld, and it's just doing everything. And like, I mean, just that fact shows you, yeah, it's probably pretty easy. I mean, they're probably using the same guts in all of them. It's just software that's like making the difference, right? Um, And you can buy these, and like, they're going to work, and it's very going to be very plug and play. But if you actually want to get one of those, you know, like, have something that's relatively readily available and, like, doesn't break the bank. And it's just more a lot, it's just a lot more flexible. Mister is probably what you're looking for. Um, 
So you need to Google Mr. FPGA, for example, this one. This is where I bought mine. Um, this is also where Bjorn bought his. Um, you can see, like, I, I think they actually do ship outside of Germany. And for the price, this is pretty decent, I think. I actually do think if you're building it yourself, you're going to be spending a little more. Hmm. I'm not going to do like a full guide because like the reality is like I didn't build it myself either, right? I was planning to. I had like all the sort of material ready. But then this became available and I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. But like, yeah, there's like a bunch of like basic parts um, that you need. And then you can kind of put them together however you want. But there's also very standard ways of doing it. Like, everyone's kind of doing it the same way. Um, and, like, this thing, this iteration of the system is using all the standard parts, basically. Mm. <clears throat> um, so that's that on that. Um, Now, I guess it's worth saying that this system was, like, completely pre-configured. Um, there's, like, an SD card inside that has everything sort of pre-installed, and, like, some games are even installed already. Um. Um. See, Bjorn already had this experience that, um, he was trying to put new shit on the SD card. Uh, you're not supposed to do that. You're not, uh, you shouldn't take the SD card out. Um, you need to instead FTP transfer stuff over. So I guess I'm going to show that real quick. Um, <laughs> no, I'm no beer. That's cool. <laughs> See, I have to be honest. Like, I sort of vaguely heard that you should FTP stuff over. And then I like looked at the thing and I didn't even see the SD card immediately, right? So I like sort of assumed, yeah, I probably shouldn't remove that. I didn't know for sure, I just kind of assumed. So I think it's like a natural mistake to make. Um, um Yeah, um, so, you open fucking your FTP client of choice. I use Fizilla. Oh, I realized I'm going to show you my IP address. If I do that. So maybe I shouldn't do that, actually. Um, okay. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Um. Um. I guess, like, the thing that's worth mentioning... Is that um, Mr. supports sort of USB plug and play now? Uh, you can just put all your games on a USB drive. Um, can I just put it on the same network through the Ethernet cable? Um, see, I I have my laptop and my Mr. plugged into the same Ethernet switch. Um. I think you could also just connect the mister to the laptop. That's, that probably would work directly. Um, but yeah, like if, if you plug them into the same router, that will work for sure. And um, you just need to type in the uh, the IP address that the mister gives you. And then um, I'll show you in the browser. Uh, mister FPGA. Oh yeah, you can do, you see, you can do 1440p. I haven't tried that yet, but um, I'm excited to try that. Uh, FTP. And then like, I think it was like the first result. Um, you just need to use this password and this username. That's it. Um, yeah, so you can like plug and play a USB drive. That's totally fine. The... So what I didn't understand at first, I, like, thought, basically, there's, like, um, you do need to give the folders for all the games specific names, right? 
And uh, by default, that was already like the case on my SD card. And I sort of assumed that if I put the same folders on both the USB drive and the SD card, um, it will just automatically kind of mix the folders. That was incorrect. Um, instead, what happens is it just gives um, the USB stick priority. And like if it can find certain things, it will just pull them from the SD card. Um, I think that's how I understand it. Like my cores, the cores are like basically the way uh it's basically the code that's telling the mister to turn into a different system, right? Um so the cores are all on the SD card, all the settings are on the, the SD card, but then when I load a core and say load game, it will immediately go to the uh USB drive. So what I suggest is if you get also like a pre-installed thing like I did and like beyond it, um open the thing in FTP, whatever, right? And then just pull the content of the SD card to your desktop. Mm. And then try to match that structure kind of to your USB drive. The only thing you really want to copy is the games folder. You don't need anything else on your USB drive. Um, so just copy the games folder uh, and then put your own ROMs in. Uh, I already... Wait, I guess I can fucking just go to Twitter. Um, Mm. <laughs> oh wait, this was actually a long ass time ago. Uh, fuck it. No. Well, I just I downloaded a bunch of ROM sets, <laughs> and they were really nicely organized in that all the English NTSC ROMs were sort of in the roots, and then. All the other shit was like in subfolders. I guess I can show just show you this here when we're set, when we start playing. Um, yeah, um, that's how I recommend doing it. Like, you don't want one big folder with all Japanese ROMs, all US ROMs, all European ROMs, because like then you have a lot of redundancy. Mm. Fuck, I'm a goddamn shitting idiot. Um, I forgot something really important. Um, basically, so one of the consoles supported is the PC Engine CD. Basically, the console that Rondo of Blood is on. <laughs> um, and I, before the stream, I downloaded a completely new set of ROMs. And it's already on the SD card. And I think the ROMs work. Um, but then, uh, I didn't have the correct BIOS. Um. For some reason, you still need, like, um, like, a, a BIOS, uh, file, right? Not for some reason, like, obvious. The reason is obvious, right? Like, because otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, otherwise the, the, the core, like, it doesn't, it doesn't have the OS, the, like, brain of the console, right? Mm, wait. Let me look that up real quick. So yeah, I couldn't load Rondo Flood because I didn't have the BIOS. Um, PC Engine BIOS. And for, like, I, I just used the one that was on the SD card, I think. But like, for some reason, it's not doing anything, so. Hmm. Let's see. There's one after this there's there's one more big thing I need to explain. Hmm. Wait, didn't I do that? Let me check. Didn't I fucking do that though? This exact thing. Um, yeah, you can definitely see my IP address. I'm not going to show that. Um, uh, when you connect via FTP, you should 
y yeah, you should go to the topmost fo folder, obviously, and then you will find a folder called media, and that's where all your drives are, your SD card, your USB drives, all that shit. Um, so it gains. Okay, I got that. Wait a minute. That's correct, right? CD BIOS dot ROM that I obviously ripped from my real PC engine CD. I didn't just fucking download it online. Wait, no, no, no. Eh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um. I need to go here. Yes. Did I not do that though? Oh, I'm a f fucking goddamn shitting ass moron. Oh, I'm such a fool. Okay. Okay, now it should work. I think. I'm pretty sure. Sick. Okay. Um, the last thing that want that I want to bring to your attention. That's like, and that's the whole reason why the stream was so complicated. Why a lot of shit didn't work, right? Um, basically, so. A lot of those older systems, right? They don't put output a clean 60 hertz. They output way weirder uh, refresh rates that a lot of modern displays and capture cards don't like. So, um, basically, Mister will always output the same speed. As the, well, I think it kind of depends on the core. I think, for example, the Dodonpachi core uh, can actually output just 60 hertz um, if you do it in standard mode, but that's actually a little bit too fast. Um, but then there's... Yeah, so there's, like, this compatibility mode, right? And depending on the core, it, like, does... It handles it, handles it kind of differently. For most cores... Um, it will use some kind of frame blending, whatever technique, or like the the image will stutter like in regular intervals, um, or like there will be more lag. There's all these little compromises. Uh, and that's obviously not ideal, but it works. You know, it's gonna work on every display, and that's fine. And with every capture card, um, but there is a mode that you can use. That is just perfect, where it's the exact same as the original console. And uh, again, I mentioned this with Dodonpachi, right? If you um, activate this mode, it would run at 57 hertz. It would run the exact way that it did in arcades. Um, which is obviously very cool, provided your display supports it. Um, I mean, the safest bet is to just get a CRT, right? On a CRT, it will 100% always work. Um, with more modern displays, you have to be kind of lucky. Um, fortunately, so far, everything that I threw at my uh, 4K TV worked perfectly, except for the Game Boy. Uh, the Game Boy was like the only thing that I tried that had kind of issues. Um, so wait, I'm gonna show. Uh, no. Wait a minute. Mm. Ah, ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you open this fucking file. It's the Mr. Dot INI file, right? It's on your SD card. And you go all the way fucking down, and then you have this here, VSync adjust. Right now you see it's set to zero. That is the most compatible mode. That's the one that's gonna work with the most things, right? But ideally what you want is you want two. Two is the best mode. Two is the one that's exactly the same as uh, original hardware. And one is like, sort of in the middle well it's really close to two i'm i'm not sure what the exact difference is like one is really good already and it's gonna work on almost everything two is like it's it's like the best but like it might not actually work on your shit right 
Um, so why the fuck do I have it set to zero right now? Like, my 4K TV supports it. Um, I think my monitor is also fine with it. The monitor is also fine with it. Um, it's just when I plugged the capture card into OBS, it started making... It just started being weird, right? I just started having problems. So that's why for this stream right now, I have it set to zero until I maybe find a solution, hopefully. Um, the thing, I don't know how bad it's going to be at, like, at zero. It's probably not going to be that bad. Um, and you can see I had, like, an extra extra section here just for Game Boy. With the Game Boy, I had it set to one because with my TV, it was weird. Um, it was like the image was, like, cutting out and stuff. It was just kind of off. Yeah. Um, that's really all you need to know. Um, <laughs> um I, f I hear that MSX Core is not super developed yet, but I'm interested to check that out for sure. I have, like, trouble uh, finding ROMs for it, though. Um, I guess the one last thing that I'll show you. Uh, wait. Obviously, the other consideration is controllers, right? Um, mm, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? So controllers is kind of weird. Um, I I got three sort of things for you that I want to talk about in that regard. Um, <laughs> so Mister, basically, it does not have Wi-Fi on board, and it does not have Bluetooth. You can add both of those things with USB adapters. Um, I am positive uh, that I have some sort of fucking USB adapter still here, but I could not find it. Uh, some Bluetooth USB adapter. Yeah, like, PC88. Um, is there anything for that platform that's, like, in English? <laughs> like, that, because it really fucking interests me. Um, that's, like, crazy that it works as well. Like, fuck. Um, okay. Mm. All right, so any fucking USB controller will work on Mister, and you can make Bluetooth controllers work as well. Uh, if you have like one of those adapters, right? Um, this chart is super fucking handy. I'm just gonna post in chat. Um, I need to sign it. I'm not gonna post in chat. Fuck you. You can find it yourself. <laughs> uh why is Streamlabs like this? Um yeah, like yeah, beyond like this is the thing, like just the fact that we have like a perfect version of this obscure ass system now that like you can easily play, that is insane. That is absolute fucking insanity. Um so yeah, I recommend with this list. You can go, obviously the most important uh, thing is like average latency, right? You want this to be as low as possible. So you go to this fucking thing and then, and then you get like the lowest one, right? Um, and then uh, the other important thing to look at is like same frame probab probability. Basically the, it's um, whether, um, your inputs, like, the likelihood that your input is going to be pulled on the same exact frame that it did last time when you press the button. Um, but generally, when you have low lag, you also have a high same frame probability, so, like, yeah, whatever. It's it's fine, so just sort it by this. Um, and then you kind of just go down the list and, like, look at what controllers you like. Now, based on this, um, I ended up settling for the Hori Fighting Commander, right? The Switch iteration. Um, because the lag is very low, uh, and has six face buttons, which works really well for the Mega Drive, but also has two shoulder buttons, or like four shoulder buttons, I should say, uh, which 
would work well for the Super Nintendo. The D-pad is like in the shape is very Super Nintendo-esque. It would just feel very right. And it has a home button, right? Um, you want some kind of extra button to interact with the Mr. Interface, right? Um, unfortunately, like, this is the controller that I'm going to be using tonight, but, like, the more I used it, the less I kind of liked it. Um, I think it makes sense for fighting games, because, like, it's like a controller where you kind of have to commit to every input a lot. If you lightly graze the buttons, you're not going to activate them. And I've had a lot of situations where that kind of threw me off. Um... And, like, I'm starting to, like, kind of just, like, eh, and, like, I mean, the D-pad already feels weird. Um, like, have, like, I, there's, like, um, this common sentiment that the D-pad on this is not very durable. Um, so, and, like, I'm already fearing that, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna suffer from that, so I'm, I might actually return this one. Um, I'm probably, I already, I bought a new Bluetooth USB adapter, so I'm gonna try the Super Nintendo, uh like uh switch controller next even though uh you see Bjorn, that's what bjorn is using um oh look yeah this this is the nintendo switch actually no that's a different one that's a different controller um yeah bjorn told me that's that this is what he is using and um where is it yeah you can see the values are actually not very good <laughs> Um, it's like a whole frame of extra lag. And the same pro frame probability is very low, right? Um, that's obviously very discouraging, but like Beyond said, it feels fine. So I want to try that at least. I want to have that option. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I really want a controller that has six face buttons, you know? I want one controller that can do everything. Um, if you're really hardcore, you can, um get these thingies yeah one of those this basically so um let me look at chat again the snes switch yeah yeah can't really feel it. like okay um that's the thing i mean one frame is like not the end of the world that's like pretty uh normal for like emulation shit but I guess, like, the thing with Mr. is, like, you you want something that's perfect, right? So, hmm. Mm. <laughs> I suppose not. <laughs> um, Let's look at the Mr. again real quick to get, like, a frame of reference. Mm. Um, so, the Mr., it's like basically the sandwich, right? Made of three parts. Uh, the center is like the actual like main chip called the DE10 Nano. That's like the main thing that you're interested in. The bottom is just a USB hub that happens like that was made to fit this configuration very well. And you need that obviously to like plug more stuff in. And the top is what is called the IO board. The IO board, sorry. The I.O. board, um, all it does is, like, adds a fan, it adds some more buttons, and it adds VGA output, so you can connect this to a CRT. Um, but the other thing with the I.O. board is it has, like, a special blue USB port. And in that USB port, you can plug this thing, right? And then into this thing, you plug one of those, right? Uh, it's just adapters for the specific consoles, right? Super Nintendo, NES, uh, Mega Drive, whatever. And if you do that, if you um, use those to uh, play on the Mister, you will get one-to-one -one inputs. You will. It's basically as if uh, you were playing on the real thing, right? As if you plugged a real controller into a real Super Nintendo. Um, because there's, like, no, like, I don't understand the exact sort of technical details of it, but, but like, I guess the way I would interpret it is that there's no, like, translation layer, there's no, like, polling, there's no processing, it's just completely instant. And I guess that is, like, the god method. Um, but, like, 
because it's so particular, um, you can only use each specific adapter with those respective consoles. You cannot mix and match different controllers this way. Um, and I think you also, you don't have a home button, right, that way. Uh, so you would have to keep a keyboard handy um, to interact with just the interface. Um, but this seems like a really cool method. I just don't know if it's convenient enough for me. Um, I, again, like I said, I really want something like this. I just want, I want basically this controller, but not bad, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, yeah. But like, that's what, what we're going to be playing on tonight. So, uh, I guess we'll see. Um, I think that's all I have on that. Um, oh, what's up, Jarius? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You like missed the whole, you missed like everything. The whole, like I was about to stop explaining and like just get on with the game. Basically, Mr. is like, uh, Google Mr. FPGA. And um, it's like basically this open source platform. It's like, a, it's like a tiny PC that can basically turn into a retro console. It can, it can literally turn into Super Nintendo, it can literally turn into Mega Drive, and it will run the exact same as those. That is sort of the idea behind it. Um, but yeah, let's get on with some playing, playing some games. Is there anything you guys want to see in particular? Um, mm, oh yeah, now that we're here, right? Uh, oh yeah, I just put, like, I just put the BIOS on the thing, right? So... What's up, Urk? Uh, why don't you stream regularly? Because I don't have time. <laughs> I wish I had time. And also, I wish I had a better setup. Um... So let's try Ron of Blood. Let's see if that works now. Yeah, so, the problem that I, that I had before with, um... Uh, you know, with, like, capturing and stuff. When I switched different cores, right? Obviously, it switches the refresh rates, and then OBS would just get fucked up. Um, so now that I set the thing that I just showed you earlier to zero, it's fine, I think. Oh, shit, it's working! Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. <gasps> Oh, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Dude! What? Vor langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Oh my god, dude. bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Oh, this is so uncool. <laughs> Die Dunkelheit trübte ihre Sinne und das Böse fand sich tief in We are in there. Oh fuck, dude. Vom Wahnsinn. I've been waiting so long to replay this game. Mit dem Teufel. Because obviously I wanted to do the most perfect fucking way, right? Fuck, dude. I still need a better controller. Zu spät. That's like the one caveat right now. Zusammen, um gemeinsam die Mächte der Finsternis mit ihrem sündigen Blut zu rufen. Mit ihrem sündigen Wesen von ihrer sterblichen Existenz. Ihre sterbliche Existenz? Das ist der Boss. Oh, äh. Uh, seizure Warning, Seizure Warning. Dass nach 100 Jahren das Böse wieder Fleisch geworden war. <laughs> yeah, they got the guy from from Doctor House. Oh, uh, it's, it's just House MD, right? In, in the U.S. But in, in Germany, for some reason, they call it the show Doctor House. Um, see, that's the thing. Uh, Bjorn, like, originally when it came out, they got some random guy, and then for the Wii Virtual Console version, they did this redub. Uh, so that's why it's a lot. Like, it sounds really good now. Uh, no, no, I've played the game, like, many times before. Um, it's just I haven't, like, properly played through it in a while. Uh, and it's just with this method, it's just so fucking cool. Ooh, let's not worry about it right now. Let's, let's just do some bullshit. 
So yeah, wait. I'll show you guys some... Actually, let's get into the game first. Oh, I'm cold. <laughs> oh. oh, shit, so... Is this not the coolest fuck shit? Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm guessing all this shit is like not rendered in the engine. It's like probably actually just like Actually, I don't know. No, I mean, the compression looks like... I mean, it just looks like Pixar, you know? But it does not look like compressed PNGs or something. And, like, it's moving at 60 FPS, so it has to be in-engine. But, like, that doesn't that mean they could have done this sort of thing just on the... Like, they could have just done this thing without the CD, you know? <laughs> Nothing but respect from my bell. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I would like I would like um some sort of technical explanation, like why did that cutscene, for example, need the CD? Because I feel like it probably didn't. I know like in Sonic C D, for example, um it's like a different thing, right? Like that's an actual FMV. Castlevania 4? Can you even backflip? Ow. Okay. Uh. Oh, wow. Yeah, the color palette looks... Very different than what you're used to in emulators. <laughs> Wait, let's look at that. Um, so... Yeah, let's look at audio and video. Obviously, we're not gonna do that. Um, colors, original, raw... Ah! Yeah, this is more like... Emulator shit, right? That's so interesting. Original. Okay, which, which one is more correct, though? I've never seen it look like this, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it's that guy from Smash. Yeah, 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 I saw that. Uh, with the cutscene. Oh, yeah, wait. Uh, overscan. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. I mean, see, so overscan, uh, with a lot of older consoles, um, on the edges of the screen, they would put some, like, garbage information that you were not supposed to see, right? It was... The CRT would, like, kind of automatically crop it. Uh, but in this case, you could tell, like, I'm just hiding the very top, and, like, there's still some... You know, there's still some Pixar there, so, like, I guess I'm gonna pick, uh... Visible. Hmm. Oh, ah, you can boost the audio. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Um, hardware. ROM data swap. What does that mean? I'm not gonna mess with that because, like, maybe I'm gonna break something. CDC. I think this is probably, like, I can... You can speed up the speed at which it loads. Um. Interesting. Uh. Oh, oh. There's a six-button controller for the tour graphics, whatever. Imagine spending hundreds of dollars on this thing and then choosing to play post... <laughs> yes! Like, okay... I made, like, a little bit of a call-out tweet for Matthew. Matthew Matos is on Twitter. Like, I mean, he, ha he has those analog systems, right? Which is basically the same thing. And, like, that's, like, that's great. But then using the fucking... The 8-Bit-Do controllers. I mean, come on. Come on, man. No. I mean, it's probably not that big of a deal, but, like... Ugh. Um... So, okay. The two things I really want to show 
is uh this right um yeah i think by default there's like some crt shit like activated already what is this mouse? oh god what okay. um i'm not sure why i would find that here but like every core so every console on this thing has a scale filter option uh by default it's like internal uh you can tell it's like pretty sharp right um Actually, I don't even see too many, like, artifacts and stuff. See, the thing is, um... It's a whole thing, but... Basically, pixels are squares, are, are squares, right? And, um... You wanna increase the size of those squares evenly. Um, but often with emulators and stuff, there's no guarantee that that's actually happening. Um, so... What you can do... To mitigate this issue... Like, if you don't scale shit evenly, um, yeah, the artwork is just going to be distorted, and especially when you move, like, horizontally or vertically, uh, you're going to see, like, weird, what is called shimmering, right? Um, so, also, yeah, if you pay attention at the top of the screen, you can see, like, a black line that's, like, not really natural. Um, so that would be, like, hidden by overscan, usually. Maybe I should hide that, yeah. Um... No. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, so, obviously, like, with this, you can do, like, a bunch of fucking filters. You can, like, do scan lines. And the scan lines are, do, do not look bad at all. I think they're totally fine. Um, but if you just want, like, the cleanest possible image um, with no artifacts, like, uh, yeah, I mean, you could do this, right? And then it would just be raw output, but like then you're gonna have those artifacts that I mentioned. So what you want with every console sort of as the default is interpolation sharp. So it's, what it does is like slightly blurs the edges of the pixels um, to make everything look cohesive, to make the scaling look correct. Even though I'm scaling like to the exact height of my screen, right? Which is technically not correct. Um, it looks completely correct. It's just a tiny bit blurry. Um, and yeah, that's what I would, rec would recommend. Oops, wait. Can I, after back look? Yes, I can. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. That would be a great feature. They should patch that in. Honestly, like, I see so many people unironically do this sort of shit. Like, even as a kid, I knew that this was wrong, right? Like... So there, there's no fucking excuse. There's absolutely no excuse. I mean... Like, come on. I'm gonna do the rest of the stream this way, yeah? No. I can't even do that as a joke. Uh... Yeah. A actually, the aspect ratio thing is interesting, though. There's, like, with other cores, there's, like, um some considerations for that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you what I mean later. Um, the one other thing that I would like to get into is uh, the button mapping. So obviously, like, blah, you just map it to whatever you want. Um, I guess this. Select. Run. Button free. Oh. Four, five, six. So I could set alternative buttons where basically I can map the same function to a different button. And that's really useful for the GBA, for example, where like A and B, for example, on a Super Nintendo control controller would be next to each other, which obviously is correct, but like it's not super comfortable, right? Your thumb can't, you can't hold your thumb over A and B at the same time, right? So I would do this, for example, to map B to like, like B on the GBA to X on my controller, like as well as the regular B button. Uh, that's probably, that's probably, that's really convoluted, but like, yeah. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to skip that, but yeah. Um, wait. Oh, okay. Weird, right? 
Yeah, maybe I should not do that. Wait, I should. What? I... Mm... Oh. Uh... Oh yeah, you can even set button layouts per game, which is nice. But like, yeah, you might have noticed this, but like sometimes the D-pad just twice, uh, <laughs> presses twice, like in the same direction for some reason. Uh, it's just really odd, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm definitely gonna return this one. Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna play it to the first boss. Mm -hmm. Of course, I just want—I just want it to be cool that bad. <gasps> Dude, people who don't like Plague Knight. That is like, how disgustingly normy can you be? Honestly. Oh, I don't have a uh, fucking axe. Uh, honestly, so yeah, you saw this whole thing. I set the V-Sync, whatever, to zero. But like, it looks pretty all right to me. And like, it feels pretty all right in terms of the lag. Um, so even if your TV can't handle like the best setting, this probably is all right. Um, this is probably still better than like, playing on an emulator, you know? Um, by the way, I could, like... I could go here. But I'm not gonna do that. Actually, Wade, do you want to fight the wolf? Wait, do I need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking sound effects in this game are so raw. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to pick up maybe is there some stuttering with the scrolling. I think there might be a little bit, but it's not, it's actually not that noticeable. Um. Yeah, it's interesting, like, so many of the sprites in this game are also in Symphony of the Night. Oh, you did the Maria mode. Oh, you can tell, yeah, the low time just now was a little bit long. Um, I think when you play, like, on the Wii, for example, it's shorter. Um, but then you're playing on the Wii, right? Like, so... Ugh. I'm not sure if the shadows are supposed to look like this. Um, oh, oh, no, 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 oh, fuck. I want the holy water. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, it's gone. Fuck. I I actually only beat Rondo with Richter. Because I'm a tryhard. Uh, I do want to do the Mariama though. Wait, this is not where the wolf is. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is like a different thing. This is so fun, cool. They use the perspective so well here. Fuck. With like the hitbox as well. Fuck! But I'm just bad at games. Ah! This little animation on the fucking cross. Isn't that the rawest thing? <clears throat> Guys, I like spent the whole day editing and like. Blah. I'm tired. You can't expect, like, peak performance from me. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I forget what's in there. Eh, whatever.
Okay, I'm not sure actually how I'm supposed to dodge that. Fuck! Yeah, I need to definitely get like... Fuck, I need to get that CRT cable. This is very embarrassing. This is highly embarrassing. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Fuck this. Um, maybe there's like, wait. I I'm so unfamiliar with the PC Engine library. Hmm. I know Lords of Thunder is like a pre memed game. Oh, Minesweeper. What the fuck? We're hardcore gamers, so... <laughs> oh, this... What? I forget the rules of Minesweeper. Ah! What does the number tell me again? What does the number do? How many mines are around that tile? So like directly around it. So like this one, uh, like the mine is either here, 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 or here. And then with this one, it's either here or here. Uh -uh. So like, uh. Actually, what what about diagonals? Do diagonals count? It's worth that number. Okay. Ah, okay. So this this one actually makes the most sense to get then, right? And then this one, yeah, it's either this or that. So that's probably a bad one to pop. Um, this one's bad to pop. Wait. Okay, wait, I should do... Yeah, the music is surprisingly fucking good. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. See, I'm thinking you can also mark mines. Oh, wait. Oh, ah, oh. I, ah, thank you, Bjorn. Okay, wait. Hmm. So... Wait. This one's a guaranteed mind. Mine. And then... Well, yeah. So this one should be free. And then... This one should be free. And this one should be free. I'm getting it now. Okay, I get it. I get it. Wow. Isn't that sad that I'm at 26 years old I'm learning how to play Minesweeper? <laughs> Damn. So wait. This one has to be mine, right? Actually, no, it doesn't. He was like... Is this diagonal, right? Yeah. But like, wait. I got the fucking mister. And what I'm playing on is fucking Minesweeper. <laughs> it's fun, but yeah. Damn. So wait. This one. Yeah. So blah has the possibility over here. And then. Uh, and. 
But then... Yeah. Wait, so this is one that could apply to all three, right? So, does that mean... It has to be this one, right? Yeah. So this one's probably... No. So wait, there can be more than one? But like, wait, I don't really get this. Like, in the, the bottom left one... The ones who only have one diagonal are always mines. But like, wait... Like, the bottom left one here has two mines around it. Even though it says one, right? How does that work? Hmm. It's very interesting. Okay. <laughs> Fucking TurboGrafx-16 Minesweeper. Just the left one. Hmm. I need to look up the rules again later. Okay. Um, is there anything you guys want to see? Actually, yeah, wait, with uh, Mega Drive, there's something interesting I'd like to explain to you. Um, um, I guess I'll do Sonic first. Uh, because, like least potential of embarrassing myself and it's also like easy to explain with that game okay yeah, yeah. you know what was lit the fucking pinball game on windows xp okay so um yo the colors are so nice wait uh does it have like Ah, oh, oh, whoa. Ah, okay, wait. I'll show. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I'm going to sh show you what this is. Actually, yeah, I, I think I need to start Sonic 1. So, okay. The thing I actually want to show you, though. Actually, yeah, let me show you with Sonic 1. That's probably better. Um, Wait. Is there... So, this ROM set... All these ROM sets are nice because they have um a hacks folder. So there should be a Sonic hack. Sonic the... What the fuck is this? Hmm. There should be a Sonic hack that's just... Um, that... It's Sonic, but like it has uh, the Spin Nash. Actually, what the fuck? They put all this weird shit here. But uh, maybe let's try this one. Oh, oh no, the video cut out. Oh god, wait. Uh, I'm gonna fix it. Wait, I'm gonna fix it. Oh god, what is this? Alright, wait. Okay, the video should come back any minute. Please come back. Oh. Maybe if I. Yeah, maybe if I turn off the console. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, we're back. Okay, we're back. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, God. Mega Drive doesn't work. Fuck, that's shitty. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I need a different capture card for that. <laughs> or something. Or maybe a different version of OBS or whatever. I don't know. 
That sucks, man. Oh, no. Wait, maybe I can show you with Super Nintendo. Um, did it come back? I don't think it did. Yeah, that's see, that's the thing. I practiced a little bit before we started, so I wouldn't completely embarrass myself with the alien soldier. <laughs> uh, that's sucky. That's not good. Um, wait, Super Nintendo. Hello. Okay, that works. Nice. Um, let's do this hack. That I'm very excited to play. It is what it says. It's just not going X, but they added the air dash. Plus, you just have the dash from the start of the game. So, uh, yeah, the way it works is just when you get the... You start with the dash, and when you get the lack capsule, uh, you get the air dash. Now, I don't actually think the air dash is that big of a game changer in Mega Man X. Um, because, like, obviously you can't... When you do a dash jump, you can't do an air dash out of that. And the air dash generally just kills a lot of your momentum anyway, so, like... Um... Like, <laughs> this thing when people say, oh, X2 is better because it has the air dash, like... No. But also, now that you can hack it, it like, it puts the argument to rest even more. <laughs> yeah. Um... Fuck, dude. Isn't this the fucking greatest video game ever made? God, okay, let's see if the if the thing I want to show you guys works here. Oh. Eh. Hmm, yeah, okay, it doesn't work here. So, you may have seen, like, Super Nintendo games look a little bit skinny sometimes with, like, emulated versions. Um, there's a good reason for that. Basically, what you're seeing right now is just a 4x3 aspect ratio, right? Um, and that's how it would, would have looked like on a CRT. Um, but obviously, as we, as we discussed earlier, all the pixels are squares, right? Um, by the way, is it like too loud maybe, or is it like still fine? Um, for me, it's like pretty loud, but like, Um, if you just put all the squares, like, at the size that they were sort of designed next to each other, the image will actually look way skinnier than what you see here. Um, well, I mean, it's fine. Okay, cool. And then the CRT will just kind of naturally stretch it, right? Um, oh yeah, I can see what the dash Ooh. Um... Uh, yeah, so this is clearly what you're seeing now is kind of how it's intended to look. But when you're playing on emulators, usually what happens is that it gets skinnier, and, like, a lot of people are used to that kind of look. Um, with Mega Drive games, it's the same thing, but the other way around, in that, um, the games, when you, when you display every pixel as a square, uh, they're actually wider than 4x3. And I think with Mega Drive games, um... You can actually make the case that they're supposed to be wider. They actually look more correct when they're wider than 4x3. And I personally prefer playing them that way. And um, with the Genesis Core in the Mister, they actually give you the option. Um, so you would go, I think, to audio and video. And then there's like an option here for like uh, 320 fix or something. Um, and I recommend toggling that on. Uh, to me, like... All the circles actually become circles. Uh, no, you don't. You don't need to put it in a specific, uh, slot. Just don't put it in the special blue slot. Um, that's at the top. Uh, every slot at the bottom should be fine. Can't seem to find the games. Oh, yeah, you need to, um... 
Wait, I'll show you. Uh, I think I didn't explain this very well before. Uh, basically, um, you need to, on your SD card, uh, no, sorry, on your flash drive, you need to create a folder named games. Oh, well, that was the reason, yeah. <laughs> Bjorn really is a tech god. <laughs> yeah, you need to put a, like, in a folder named games. Uh, like, games is on the root of the flash drive. And then inside games, you put all your subfolders, right? And then the folders, like I said, they need to be named as they are on the SD card. And uh, how they're named on the SD card, you can see that you can see that by FTPing uh, between the Mister and the PC. Um, yeah. So yeah, with Mega Drive games, I recommend using that option because like it will actually turn like things that are supposed to be circles into circles. Um. There's something related to that. See, one really cool thing with the Mega Drive that I can't show you now because obviously it wasn't working is um, you saw this composite blend option. There's like certain effects in Mega Drive games that don't work unless you're using the shitty com uh, composite cables, right? The waterfalls, for example, they don't look properly transparent like they're supposed to in Sonic if you're not using component cables. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, that's good here. No worries. Um, uh, yeah. So, what you can do on the Mister, and this is also possible on the analog systems. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is also possible on the analog systems. Um, oh yeah, uh, Bjorn, I mentioned this earlier. The, the blue one, the like special one, is for the snack adapters that I mentioned earlier. Um, for, if you want to use original controllers, it's for that. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Uh, yeah, so on the Mister, there's an option to basically fake that effect for those parts of the screen. So it will, it will like detect the waterfalls in Sonic and then make them look correct. But then the rest of the image is still sharp. Um, that sounds fucking lit, but obviously I can't show you that, so. I guess I'm gonna play Shield Penguin Sage. Just to try the air dash. I mean, this controller is, like, not terrible. Maybe, maybe I'm overreacting a little bit, but, like, I'm very picky with this sort of thing. Uh, that's actually a good question, Ryan. Um, I would have to try it. I haven't tried it yet, so... This thing, like, when I saw the option just now, that was the first time I saw it. I didn't, like, I thought it was exclusive to the analog consoles, but apparently Mr. has it as well, so... Oops. Eh, fuck it. Oops. Oops. See, I just hate in the PS1 games. Um, they gave the dash this, like, disgusting startup. In, in uh, the Super Nintendo games, it's instant. But uh, from X4 onward, there's like a little bit of a startup when you dash, and it's it just feels so fucking bad to play. Now, obviously, the way you mitigate it is by just jumping immediately. But it doesn't feel as cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, no worries, dude. I was very happy to do that. Uh, I'll send you like a link for the PC Engine stuff as well, where I downloaded that. Because obviously the one that I gave you initially wasn't working. Um, oops.
Oh yeah, and like I said, I recommend you you need to FTP and then I recommend taking all the BIOS files from the SD card and putting them on your flash drive. Um because I think that way it's like I I already have some BIOS files on on the folder shit that I gave you. Um but I don't think it's going to work as well as the stuff that was already on the SD card. Oops. Oh yeah, you can die here. I'm so out. You can like, um, like not let yourself get captured. Um, yeah, the BIOS is like the, the fucking, I guess like, I guess it's the OS of the console, right? Of the original system. And, um, and, um, m most emulators and stuff work fine without a BIOS, um, but it's better to just have it for compatibility reasons. Yeah, I tend to play Sonic, like, Sonic Mania have is one of the better CRT filters, but, like, I also don't use it because, um... Uh, I don't know, like, I've, I think I've, I've grown out of love a little bit with CRT filters in general. Um, I mean, especially now because I have CRT, right? So, eh. Oh my god, it's the Eager Raptor video. I mean, this is fucking epic, right? Like... Ugh. Um, there's a patch for this game that uh, basically makes it so that it can use the SA1 chip that some Super Nintendo cartridges have. Um, where it basically removes the slowdown in the game and also it adds some quality of life features like uh, saving. Um, unfortunately, I could not get that to work on Mr. for some reason. Fuck man, just having the dash immediately is so fucking freeing. Like, I'm sure- like, this is one of my favorite games, I fucking love this game. But like, um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who... Feels like, yeah, the first stage, the intro plus the first stage, is like a bit of a slog to play because you don't have the dash. Oh, what's up, Flo? Yo! You're still working on the presentation? We pre-record- we pre-recorded ours. These were fucking smart. Yeah, Ryan, I'll let you. Uh, Ryan, I'll post some pictures, like what it looks like with the, um, with the blend thing. Like that's the thing. You could couple the blend with a CRT filter, yeah, you know? and then it would probably be the effect that you want. Dude, I'm so I'm really excited to see everybody's games tomorrow. This has probably been like my favorite semester, like not just um to work in, but also like just to see everybody's stuff. Um, I still need to write my fucking blog post though. <laughs> Got the air dash now, boys. Oh, that ooh, that actually feels better than I thought. Is there any reason to play other stages first now that you have the dash from the start? Hmm. 
Um, I mean, the air dash is still of the coolest upgrade, right? Like, compared to everything else. Um... So I would still, I would still pick it over the other stages. Um, but like, I, I guess I don't feel pushed. I don't feel like forced as much as I used to. Yeah. Yeah, I think though, like the other thing that was a good idea was like the, the pitching process, right? Like just the way we handled it this time was way better. And I hope, like, I hope, I hope everybody does it that way next time. Um... Our presentation is half a voiced video explaining the game, and the other half is like a postmortem. Ah, okay. Cool. Um, we do have a trailer. We like, um, we like fade into the trailer during our presentation. Um, yeah, I like the theme as well. Wait, I think I need something here to, like, do shit, right? I need something here to do shit. Yeah, the air dash definitely smoothed out, smoothed out the gameplay. A good amount. Fuck off. This is the best. This is the best. Dude, ugh, fuck, man. The, like, the me like, I think the Mega Drive thing is impressive. I need the flame ulch, thank you. Um, it's like impressive graphically, but it feels like fucking ass to play. Like a use. It's it's just so splashy and like loose. Like loose in a bad way. Oops. Uh, initial two new stage. What is that? Why are some messages showing up on your stream, but not super chat? Um, wait. Oh God, wait, what the fuck? Wait, did, did someone donate to super chat? Because, like, I turned Super Chat off. Because, like, I want people to donate with Streamlabs. <laughs> because, like, I'm not actually getting the money when uh, you Super Chat. So that's why I tried to turn off. Wait, what the fuck? Let me check that. Oh, I thought Super Chat is just the live chat. No, no, like, um... Wait. So what you see on my on the on the stream is just a recording of the chat. It's just a backup of the chat, right? Um Oh, okay, yeah. No super chat is the stuff that you pay money for. Yeah. Um Okay, I'll cross over cross. I'll Google that. Um yeah, see I do think Aladdin SNES is like more cohesive looking. Um, I do think I Mega Drive Aladdin is like more impressive for the hardware. But like our overall, like Aladdin SNES still kind of looks better. Yeah. Oh, oh! I think floor. What's happening is that you don't have um. Um, you go to the top of the chat window and it says top chat. You need to set that to live chat because it like filters some messages. That's what's happening, I think. Chill penguin, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you piece of shit. That was mean. See, I knew he could do that. I knew that that was something he could do. I just sort of forgot about it. No, I think it's relatively fair. Like, it's... Like, obviously... 
it doesn't really make logical sense that he would only jump in an arc that like favors the player yeah Asshole. I'm playing like a fucking pussy. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you feel when I was talking about that, I kind of realized that that's probably what you meant, yeah. Have you been working on any videos lately? Um, Not really, to be honest. I I, uh, I wrote a little bit of, a, of my Bayonetta 2 video. Can you think of a SNES game that actually has bad pixel art? Um... Honestly, Mega Man X3 has, like, really ugly... Like, I mean, it reuses stuff from X1 and 2. So it's not completely bad, but, like, a lot of it looks really, like... Just really janky. Um... And, like... The difference is, like, subtle enough that most people, I feel like, don't notice it. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I don't want to play X3, though. Ugh, dude, no. Ugh. Maybe I have to. Fuck. Let's the fucking. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, I hate X3. Oh. It's just this game. It feels like you can tell it was outsourced. You know, it feels so empty and just bland. It has no design to it. I forgot to set the dash to. L. I mean, this is pretty lit. And like that you play a zero, it's pretty lit. Um. good part of the game but even then you can tell like the enemies are kind of like you know the way everything is placed is like a little bit bland also yeah this guy is like a new sprite right and he looks weird he definitely looks weird right like the proportions just are not right okay that's enough look at um Oh yeah, let's do Star Fox, that's a good idea. I mean, this song's pretty low as well, yeah. Um, so... One thing you can do... Is you can turn on... Ah, Turbo, yeah. I don't know if this like does anything. Why the fuck not? Um. Oh, sick. See you, folks. Um. Now, being able to turbo this game is nothing really new. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. Z. That's a legend shit. 
Um, but like, because it's FPGA, I just feel it works a lot better. Something about the speed, when you speed this, you know, this version of the game up, feels a lot more natural to me than when you do it in an emulator. Um, and it's like fucking amazing that this works. Listen, if you've played Star Fox before, you'll see this and you'll think, huh, this is like not unnaturally fast, right? It's not too fast, right? Like, but definitely it feels, it looks smoother than, um, than just playing the stock version. Ah, fuck. No! Oh god, I'm embarrassing myself. Man, like, the feel of this game is still so unique. I really do think, like, it substantiates itself a lot over 64 still. Obviously 64 is better, but, like... Um, I haven't, but I know about them. I've seen, like, footage of Super Metroid and A Link to the Past and widescreen. And that shit looks litty-titty. Um, but it's also emulator, so, like, I don't really care. If it works in Mister, like, I'd fucking go for that, for sure. Um... Yeah, yeah, same. Like, I saw them mostly in Nerals videos. You can also, like, um... Like, you can make all the Mode 7 shit HD. Uh... What's our general... My general opinion on King Rats 3? Um... I haven't played Remind yet. So that could change my opinion drastically. Oh, fuck. That was stupid. I think, um, what King Hearts, what, what King Hearts 3 does really well is, um, it, uh, like, it gives every world a unique flair, and it actually makes those worlds really fun to traverse. I think Sora's movement, just, you know, traversal movement, feels extremely fucking good, and they come up with nice mechanics to bring the worlds together and like i think the sense of scale is really cool like climbing up mount, mount olympus and like jumping down th that is just such a next gen ass feeling um and i think when the game came out like it really delivered on what you wanted out of like a next gen kingdom hearts right just on, based on this sort of way of looking at it i don't like the cockpit way um Um but like the combat itself it's not as bad as the other like Osaka Kingdom Hearts games. Uh but like it still does not even come close to 2. Or even King Hearts 1, honestly. Um, I think it's a great fucking spectacle. Like, and just... Uh, killing shit is really fun, but I think the combat is, like, fundamentally... Poorly thought out. Um, 
Like, your melee combos are so weak and ineffective, and your magic is so insanely strong. Um, and there's no good synergy between the two. Like, your magic, like, you really, you, like, spam thunder, and that's it. You, like, you win the game, basically. Uh, and there's even, like, there's even way more broke stuff, right? Like, the attractions, and, like, some of the summons and shit. Um, which, I don't even care that much about it, right? Like, I, it's not even the problem that it's broken, it's just, like... The game isn't fun unless you, like, um, spam thunder all day, right? And then, when your MP runs out, you don't really get anything interesting to do. Because, like, again, like, just fighting the enemies with melee is so ineffective. And, uh, like, yeah, I talk about this in my video on Cage 2, but, like, it has this really brilliant fucking mechanic where, um, where... Your drive gauge fills more when your MP is at zero. Um, ah, fuck. Ah, no. Mm. Uh, and that really, and like the fact that drive restores health and MP. Like, all those, all those things, like, they tie together really well. And KH3 is really missing shit like that. Like, everything just feels like a disconnected move, kind of. Like, just a big fuck you attack. Uh, that, like, it does, like, nothing sets up interesting things. And, like, I mean, you can do a fucking arrow to, like group enemies together a little bit and then do like a thunder for example or like an air combo and that's kind of neat but like um it's just so whatever and like i mean the game still feels kind of clunky to play compared to h2 it still does not feel as smooth um so i don't think h2 sucks but i think it's really fun uh you do you even have iframes for you even have iframes uh a little bit after the barrel roll. Um where you still deflect the shots. Um because they they knew the frame rate of this game was really bad, right? So they made it really fucking lenient where you could time it very early and still get the iframes. And that's actually good design, you know? I actually think that's really smart. Um uh, especially like yeah, like you because the frame rate on the on the original hardware was so low, you couldn't rely on the thing to come out like reliably. You couldn't rely on it reliably. Then. That's stupid. Um. Uh. But yeah. Um. Uh. I just think the way it works, even when you're playing sort of under original conditions, uh, is really smart. Um. Dude, the fucking DS one is actually underrated. Um, Star Fox Command is actually underrated. That uh, game is actually great. I like that like, game a lot. Due to Coyote Time is like a great concept. Sure. Love Coyote Time. Oh, let's try Game Boy. Maybe that does that work? Oh wait, I need to. I'm an idiot. idiot. Um. It's not, it has some hard parts, like, at the very end. Sure. Okay, I'm not seeing a screen. So that's discouraging. Wait. Let's try, um... Does GBA work? Wait, I guess I would have to reboot the system anyway. Fuck. Okay, wait. Flo, you've done like a bit of programming in your day, right? Are you familiar with um FPGA technology? Uh, because that's what this is. It was the strategy on the world. Ah, yeah. I mean, no, no. The that's the the strategy was part of the missions. There, there was no world map. Um, it was like the individual missions. It's like half strategy game, half shooting game. 
uh, where when the two encounter, you would have to, yeah, you would have to actually play Star Fox. That actually is the hardest part, yeah. Um. Oh, wait, does this work? Okay, wait, does this work? See, one thing that's really cool. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, Game Boy just does not work as well. Like, just like uh, Mega Drive. Okay. That's sad. See, I want to show you guys that you can, like, um, you can play with Super Game Boy shit. You can play with the uh, color palettes and, um, and the borders and all that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Yeah, see, hmm. I do, I do think to myself, like, huh, I would, I would kind of get the most out of learning more programming, right? That would help me the most as, like, a game developer. Um, but, like, clearly, like, you know, our classes are just not really designed for that. Um, it's definitely really aimed at, like, programmers, programmers. Uh, so yeah. Sad. Um, basically what this is, like, this, this, I mean, you see in the top left, this is called the Mister. And it's basically, it's programmable hardware. Um, the, the chip inside the thing, like, the way, the way it's cycled and all that, it can basically turn into all the different consoles that you see here. Um... And that makes it a lot more accurate than an emulator. Uh, and that's why it's cool. And that's why I spent 300 euro on it. <laughs> um, I guess let's do GBA, why not? Oh, 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 I don't see, I don't see anything on the screen. Oh, that's bad. Oh no, why, why don't I see shit? See, um, yeah, uh, because it's running so accurately to the original systems, uh, it's basically outputting the same refresh rate as well, and my capture card does not like that. Um, or OBS maybe doesn't like it, I'm not sure which, but like, either way, I'm having problems. But, like, it's impressive that Super Nintendo even is working. So, yeah, on my end, I am seeing the gameplay on the monitor, but, like, uh... On, your, on the stream, it's just black. What's up, yes? <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I, have a, I have a very loose definition of time in general. Let's do fucking Neo Geo, why not? Does that work? Oh, what, oh god, I'm not seeing anything at all anymore. Why the fuck? Are there any old 2D pixel games you'd like to see rebuild slash remastered to like Christian Wyatt Sonic games? Oh, okay. So not like Sonic Mania, but specifically like Sonic 1, 2 and CD. Hmm, that's a good question. Uh... Hmm... See, with Zelda 2, for example, I think I would, or Zelda 1 even, I would rather have, like, a full kind of visual overhaul, kind of like the Lizard Cube stuff. Like, um, like Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap. I want something on that level, but, like, the gameplay is the same. Um, hmm. But, the, I mean, Zelda 2, for example, it would still benefit from, like, a modern port. You know, like that's widescreen and has saving and all that shit. Um, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty litty. Um uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's still it's still an option. Uh, yeah, that's the good. I I just thought if you're specifically asking a Christian white hat, yeah, um, like. I'm thinking of games where just the quality of life stuff uh, would be enough, right? Like with Zelda 2, for example, I would really prefer if they actually overhauled the graphics as well. Um, wait, is the Don, like Beyond Set, the Don Pachi is on this. Is that gonna work? Oh, 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 wait. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, it's fucking flipped. <laughs> wait. Um. Ah. Sick, okay. And now I need to just turn on interpolation. Bjorn, are you here? Oh my god, I'm doing the thing. Nice. <laughs> this, obviously, this is the fucking way to play to Donpachi. This is the the exact way that the developers intended it. Yeah. <laughs> Flip screen. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, yeah. See, yeah, you have this as well. Like, this CRT fucking thing. This is not that bad, actually, but, like, it makes the screen very dark. I can think of a ton of PS1 games. So, yeah. Like, there's a lot of PS1 games and shit that run very bad. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, so yeah, right now, right now it's probably running at 60 hertz. So it's not, it's not arcade perfect. You know, like I'm, I'm disqualified from speedrunning with this. But like, obviously, if I wasn't recording it, I could set it to. Ah, wait. Oh. So I'm guessing, yeah, if I do this. Right now, it's like a frame rate conversion, probably, right? So, internally, it's the correct speed, but like it has to like do some funky stuff to display on my TV. And so it probably, there's probably like some weird, like again, like I said, frame blending or whatever, and like it doesn't look the best. If I did this, it would look really good, but it would be too fast, right? Um. Uh, That's super interesting. Hmm. Wait. So does it reload if I do this? Actually, well, yeah. Yeah, let's just leave it like this for now. <laughs> Dude, I bought the first three volumes of Chainsaw Man, actually. I'm gonna start reading. Wait a minute. I didn't get my package today. I should have I should have gotten that today. That is wait wait. Let me look that up. We're sorry your package is running late. Fuck you, Jeff. Ah. I got I got bamboozled. <laughs> Dude, my brother, who's like really into CS:GO, he actually he would like play in lower resolutions and then stretch the rest because like he was like yeah dude it's like better with the aiming or something <laughs> obviously that makes no fucking sense um <laughs> yeah i just ended up buying it in german like i mean obviously like you have to think the english is also a translation and it's not guaranteed to be better right than the german one so like eh I know, I know. Um, yeah, so I hope the German one's good. I'm just gonna read that. Um, the problem is that not all the volumes are out yet, physically. And I don't have a fucking iPad. So, I'm thinking... 
Um, I hope, like, in a couple months I can get an iPad and then I can read the rest that way. Oh yeah, I think if you're playing on a CRT, this is not gonna work. I think. You actually have to just flip your whole ass CRT. Um, which is sad, but like, it's just technically not possible, right? Um, so yeah, let's, let's fucking go. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah, okay, I just paused the game, okay. Ugh. Hmm. Hey, what was this one? I think I like this one, yeah. Oh, I already picked, yeah. Twice as many. Laser, part of the laser, it's this one, anyways. Eh. Um, so... I'm guessing... So this is like, oh, so I can probably, wait, either mash or rapid fire. Yeah, nice, okay. Dude, this looks fucking insane. I gotta be honest with you. This looks fucking awesome. <laughs> oh my God, dude, this is the, this is the best. I like that it scrolls horizontally as well. Yeah, obviously I'm a scrub because I'm not playing this with a stick right now. Obviously, if you have an arcade stick, that's going to work as well. So that's cool. I'm guessing the B button on my controller is the bomb. Yeah, it is. Nice. This is so fucking lit. Oh, God, dude. This is like the litest shit. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, I just fucking... Swerved through those bullets. <laughs> the TikTok <tip> rush. <laughs> Dude. Wait, so... If I hold this button... So this is stronger, right? So if I'm... If I want to concentrate my fire on, like, a single foe... But also, it slows down a ship, right? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting, dude. I really like that. That's actually... See, I think with shmups, it's, like, really easy to say that, oh, they're just doing memorizing stuff. But, like, there's ways to make them, like, a little more decision-based, I think. Um... Like, even just something like that, which weapon to use, like, that's fucking awesome. Oh, uh, yes, that's a good question. I, sh I showed at the start of the stream. I, like, talked a lot, like, in a lot of detail about the kinds of controllers you should consider and stuff. Right now, I'm using the Hori Fighting Commander. And it's, like, it's fine, but, like, I have problems with it. I'm, I'm, I'm considering returning it. I really want a controller that has six face buttons and shoulder buttons. I think that's really important. Yeah, I also have two different mods. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm a keep it a buck with you. With you. This is like the best. Oh shit. Um, so if you told me there was, like, frame rate weirdness with the refresh rate and all that, I think I would believe you, but I'm not sure if I can tell what's going on exactly. Oh, God. This is already way harder than the first stage. Dude, Jamestown is great. 
Um, see, yes, my problem is like, I feel like the D-pad sometimes gets weird. I feel like sometimes it activates two presses when I only press it once. And then generally, um, you kind of have to commit to button presses a lot. You have to like press, you have to press the buttons relatively hard for them to register inputs in my experience. I really want to play Battle Gary, oh yeah. That seems fucking lit, that game. Uh, I have the power of infant credits. Oh yeah, you can, um, I tested this earlier, but you can very easily, oh, oops, plug two controllers into the mister, and it just works perfectly. Uh, you can play multiplayer, and I tried on the Super Nintendo Core, and it just worked. Um... Um... Obviously, I love Radiant Silver Gun. Uh, Ikaruga... I mean, Ikaruga is, like, a big meme, right? Like, it's the one... It's, like... It's, like, the spirited away... Of shmups. You know? It's, like, it's the one anime the film critics can say that they like. Yeah, I need to get that. But also, I could just play on the Saturn, you know? And be a really cool guy. I do like that you can see the health bar. Because it helps you make, it helps you make like, a more informed decision on... Which shot type to prioritize? Fuck! Yeah, that ROM set that I gave you should be pretty complete, honestly. I have so many bombs, dude. I should use them more. Okay. This is fucking awesome. I need to play this more. But, like... Gotta move on. Um... I don't really have, like... Actually, I mean, there is some arcade stuff, right? Like, already on here. Actually, yeah, wait... So yeah, the guy that we bought that I bought this from and that Bjorn bought his from uh pre-installed a bunch of stuff. And now I'm wondering, like, wait, is like is some CPS2 stuff? <gasps> oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. Guys. Yeah, Mother 3 is probably a good one to play. What? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Oh! Oh! Original filter? Turbo. Oh my god, dude. Is this not the coolest fucking shit? Oh, fuck. Okay, wait, I need to... See, uh, see, yes, like, just now I pressed up, and, like, sometimes it just doesn't... Like, the button is, like, relatively deep, right? Uh, like, all the buttons and the D-pad. Um, so if you don't press them, like, all the way in, sometimes you don't get a response, I feel like. Um, right, right, left, down, up. Uh, oh, what is this? Wait. B0? Is that punch or a kick? I'm just gonna assume it's punch. Uh. Okay. 
Okay, let's hope that works. Wait. Oh, which is which? Fuck. Yeah, I think that's the thing. I think when you're using it for fighting games, it's way less noticeable because you commit way more to your inputs, right? That's pro with fighting games, it might actually be a good thing. Um. Okay, did I set the buttons correctly? Okay, seems like it. Yeah. Nice, okay. I... Guys... This is extremely fucking lit. Oh my fucking god, dude. Holy fuck. This is not the coolest fucking thing you've ever seen. I'm fucking sorry. This is like... Arcade perfect. Dude. What the fuck? Yeah, I like this game a lot. I mean, Alpha 2 is like the... The, the memed one, right? Like, people hate... Kind of don't like Alpha 3. <laughs> Dude, Overcross, you just need to start. You just need to start somewhere. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, this is CPS 1 still. Wait, actually, wait. Is it CPS 1.5? I don't know. See, I haven't really kept up, like, with what exactly is compatible right now and what, what works and what doesn't. What if... At some point, they add online to Mister. Wouldn't that be the fucking greatest thing? If you could, like, play online fighting games. Should look at the screen more. Ah! Wait, can I do EX first? I don't think so. This feels so fucking good. No, I think Alpha 2 with competitive players is the most popular one. This is the fucking best. Oh. Dude. Back heavy kick. Try that. I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Ah. See, I got an accidental Shoryuken. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm a scrub, but like... I feel like the controller... Like, I mean, and I have the Switch version of the controller. I should say that as well. Um, Maybe the PS4 version is like better. But I don't know. Oops. Oh, God. Oh, she's fucking killing me. Ah! SF3 is the fucking best. I, do, I will say, like, when I want to do something, the controller does it. But, like, it also, there's a lot of things that I don't want, somehow. Oh, shit. No! Oh, I hate you. Shit, okay. 
Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Mm, I really wonder what's like gonna happen with Street Fighter in general. Like, just the whole situation is so weird. Two one four. I unfortunately I don't um understand number notation fighting is. Wait, so the wait. So two one four is like down, down back. Oh, it's just a quarter circle backward. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I mean they had to extend the life of uh of SF uh five because SF six was like bad, right? Like that's weird. Um Or some other is like super puzzle fighter available? Hmm. Super glop. No, doesn't look like it. Hey, okay, damn. Still, that's really cool. Or right, I need to look like look at more arcade shit that's like available here. Oh, Mega Man: The Power Battle. That game was like crazy. I think. Yeah, I need to get used to number notation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Mega Man sprite, dude, is weird. I never liked the sprite. Also, yeah, see, you can tell the artwork around Mega Man looks really funky. So if I turn on interpolation... Okay, no, yeah, that was so late. But, like, it's gonna look a lot better now. I mean, this core... Like, yeah, you can see the pixels, like, everything looks a lot cleaner. Hopefully. This game is weird, dude. I've never played this, actually. This is my first time playing this. I've known about it, though. Can I be honest? This is not that cool. Wait, can I? Is this an attack? No, I don't think so. That's lame. I am excited for uh, Akira. <laughs> Even though I'm a fucking fraud and I've barely played Rival <laughs> Um, Let's see, what else can we play? Hmm. We'll try some GBA stuff. Well, actually, no, GBA didn't work when I tried it before, for some reason. Let me try one more time. Yeah, no, it's a black screen. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Hmm. If I, um, wait, if I now load a Super Nintendo, does that work? It does not seem to work. Okay. Yeah, I think I should call it soon. <laughs> um, let's play maybe one more Super Nintendo game, man. Oh yeah, I guess I could try Turbo Graphics. Um, before you came here, I uh, did some PC Engine CD with Round of Blood. <laughs> Isn't it as cool as the NES one? Yeah. Um, that should work fine, right? Oh, oh, oh! It's not. See, that is so weird. I don't know what's going on with my capture card, but like, you. S I mean, everyone who like was here from the start, you know the Turbo Graphics thing was working fine before, and now it's just a black screen. Yeah, I'll have to figure it out. Again, maybe I just need a different capture card. I mean, I was gonna get one anyway, so, eh. Um. Uh, 
Let's do snaz. Why not? Sna oh, I just said snaz. What the fuck? Oh, it's still black. That's interesting. Does that work? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, Overcross. I guess you weren't here when I explained this. This is the Mister. It's uh, an FPGA based system. Um, basically, it's a tiny computer with a program programmable chip, and what that does is that the thing can literally just turn into a Super Nintendo. It's basically just a perfect cycle accurate replication of a Super Nintendo, or like a Mega Drive, or a GBA, or whatever you throw at it. Um. Uh, and that makes it way more accurate than just emulating stuff, right? Um. Especially in terms of the input lag and the sound. Um, I definitely immediately notice the difference versus just emulating those consoles. And yeah, for me, it was like, I got it today, and for me, it's already really worth it. Um, if you are interested, I talk more about sort of the logistics of it and how it works at the start of this stream. It's going to be archived when it ends, and then you can watch that if you want to. Um, but yeah, nothing's working. <laughs> like, yeah, because it's so accurate, right? Because it outputs the exact shit that the console used to output. Used to output. Um, it gets funky with, like, modern capture cards and modern displays. Um, so, that's why nothing's working right now. Um, which kind of sucks, but, like, yeah. That, that's why I'm saying I'm, I might just need a different capture card. Well, I guess we can play one more arcade thing then, because that should work, right? Like, that should be fine. Uh, could you buy a Kamano? Actually, yeah. Well, actually, it's a way different game than the NES one. Thank you, yes, that's nice to hear. Um, yeah, it was mostly, like, I had to finish a bunch of shit for college, and then, um... I still, I wanted to stream the Mister the same day that I got it, right? So, and, like, I knew, uh, okay, I don't have work tomorrow, so th that was, like, a good time to do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end the stream, like, very shortly as well, so. Let's do Final Fight, why not? Does that work? Um, okay, it's not looking good. Yeah, nothing's working right now. Damn. I mean, that, that's the thing, I'm seeing the game on my end, but it's not showing up on the stream. <laughs> um, okay. It's pretty disappointing, but like, I guess I have to call it here. I, I don't know the solution and I, I'm too tired to figure it out. Um. Yeah, but, like, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, um, if you need, like, help, if you are interested in getting a Mr. This is not sponsored. But, like, I mean, I wouldn't mind taking a sponsorship. Um, yeah, if you end up buying one, you can ask me for questions. I will help you with the setup, gladly. I'm, I want to spread the love, like, Let's not play on emulators anymore. Let's stop with the emulators. Emulators are corny. Um, let's all just get a mister. It's gonna be sick. Uh, yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed. God, I need to fucking sleep. Uh, okay. Um, have a good night, everybody. Mm. <laughs> nice, okay, yeah. I'd love to answer your questions for sure. Mm. Yeah, Heather, I was, like, thinking you were, like, the exact person, uh, 
You would get a lot out of this, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Bjorn, as well, like, that you're clicking with it so much. That's so cool. Because I know you're, like, not an emulator person, right? And, like, obviously this has big emulator energy, but just way better. Uh, yeah. Fuck, I'm really excited to dive into it, but, like... Uh... Actually, yeah, I don't get anything to do tomorrow after my stupid presentation that I need to do. Uh... I'm working on Thursday, and then on Friday is Mario. Maybe I'm gonna stream Mario when that comes out. Um, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, like you guys know, uh, night-night, uh... 